Greetings to all viewers and Phương Thảo. Thank you for joining us on the comprehensive news bulletin of 24 Hours channel. After a tiring day of work, it's time to relax and catch up on the shiny speaking news even of the past 24 hours. Dear audience, Super Typhoon No. 2 had winds of up to 225 km per hour before making landfall in Kazian, north of Hainan Island, China this morning local time. When raging on land, Super Typhoon No. 2 toppled many houses, uprooted trees, caused widespread power outages and killed at least 120 people. In addition, there have been unconfirmed reports of casualties in a coastal town in Guangding province. The area hit by the storm is home to about 5 million people, many of whom had to be evacuated because of the storm. Some eyewitnesses described terrifying scenes as the storm made landfall, wooden planks smashing against glass doors flying along the corridor. I can't imagine how people living in small huts or unstable houses will cope. Mr. Chen, a storm shelter at a hotel in Kazian, told NTV that he was also worried that the big storm could cause flash flooding that could lead to serious landslides in rural areas in the northern part of the island. Hainan, a local official told NDD that most of the buildings in the island capital city of Hainan were damaged. According to Governor Bamba, the biggest problem for rescuers right now is clearing debris from main roads. In addition, communication systems and power grids were disrupted in many places, hampering efforts to reach remote areas to assess damage. The PLA Army decided to send 2 and 24 aircraft and 10 helicopters to Hainan Island to participate in rescue and remediation. According to Chinese Defense Minister Wei Feng, efforts to bring relief goods have been difficult because the airport has also been damaged. Meanwhile, authorities say some Chinese provinces are at risk of being affected by the storm. In particular, Guangding, Hainan and Zhejiang have also issued warnings to people about the risk of heavy rains and landslides. The Guangding provincial government alone has another effort, as the Yangjiang nuclear power plants are located just 30 kilometers from where the storm is expected to make landfall. According to the China Meteorological Administration, the storm will make landfall near the coastal city. In Hainan province, an island 500 kilometers southeast of Hong Kong, authorities also warned that the threat from Typhoon No. 2 was very serious. The above caution is probably necessary after this super storm caused big waves, sweeping many people to the sea even though they did not land there. According to the BBC, the economic damage caused by the typhoon to Taiwan could reach more than 2 billion US, but compared to China, this figure is much higher than 10 billion US dollars, of which Hong Kong lost 2.6 billion US dollars, US. That is the assessment made by Mr. Van Sun, a disaster expert at an American research company. Dear audience, also according to the relevant source, the heaviest rain in Chinese history at 9am on Tuesday. Suddenly, the sky of Beijing City was as dark as the night of the 30th New Year, and the whirlwind came and looked terrible. The image of the vortex like monsters is struggling, as if it is plundering and swallowing everything in its path. At the same time, there were very loud explosions in the sky, which were terrifying to hear. There were many cars that were sucked in by it and swept up high, colliding with each other, burning in a whirlwind that looked like a fire hose. The scene is likened to the end of the world, the day when nature destroys the earth with rain, oil, sun, earthquake, and fire everywhere. When the tornado passed, everyone who managed to escape breathed a sigh of relief, then looked at each other as if congratulating themselves on their luck. Unexpectedly, the sky suddenly fell black, viscous patches, but that mucus was very slippery. Currently, on the roads, there are many accidents, especially on the highway. There are hundreds of cars that collide with each other due to the oil. Even though the driver steps on the brake, it is useless because it is very dangerous. Slippery, making the tire's friction force no longer effective. Many people saw the scene of the car being hit repeatedly and shared it online, and advised other cars not to move on this road. According to information from the government, the substance that was scattered on the black road was an in-process crude oil. Due to the effect of the tornado, it used centrifugal force to pull up as it passed through the nearby refinery. In order to cope in time, the authorities sent cleaning groups to collect by using a cleaning truck to suck and spread sawdust. Reporters from the local newspaper asked one of the group involved in the accident, this is something that has never happened in our homeland, so do you believe the government announcement is true? He added, but only partially correct, because the substance is crude oil, who does not know? But in my opinion, this is an opportunity they lie to get their own pocket money about the volume of loss. Another said that our country has recently had many strange natural disasters.
proving that there is something bad for China and its people. According to statistics, hundreds of people have been injured by a terrible tornado in China. According to Xinhua, at least 60 people were killed and 217 others were injured. After a terrible tornado continued to occur on Sunday evening in Wuhan City, Hubei Province, Central China. With winds of 23.9 meters per second, the tornado blew off roofs, damaged more than 130 houses, collapsed many campsites at the construction site along with 27 people, and toppled many trees. In addition, two large crane towers and a 180 meter squared box house of the construction site were also damaged by the tornado. Most of the injuries were caused by fallen trees, damaged roofs, and falling advertising signs. And they were taken to local medical facilities. Even more horrifying is the scene where two sanitation workers working at height were hit by strong winds and smashed into broken glass, tragically dying. The investigative agency is currently investigating the responsibility for the individuals involved because bad weather was predicted before the incident. The incident is currently causing a stir in China. Accordingly, on the afternoon of the last Monday, two sanitation workers in Hunan, China were being hung up on a dozens of floors high building to clean and clean glass windows when suddenly a sudden attack of fire broke out. Strong winds of level 10 blew through the area causing their hanging crates to shake violently and repeatedly hit the walls of the building. Rescuers rescued two people, then fixed the hanging crate and took them to the hospital, but unfortunately both died later. According to a report by the local weather site, there was a large tornado that swept through Wuhan, North Bridge, China the afternoon of the previous day. With heavy rainfall and bad weather conditions, the measurements in Wuhan were postponed the water in the station was accumulated, so it flooded slightly, and the billboards were also blown by strong winds and damaged. The Hubei Meteorological Center also announced that the amount of rain from 1 p.m. that day will increase, accompanied by hail, thunder, strong winds. Wind gusts in areas in Wuhan reached level 14, and the two-hour rainfall from 14H to 16H exceeded 250 mm. However, at 13.30 that day, Two cleaning workers were sent to clean the outer glass wall of a building. An hour later, the weather changed suddenly. Strong winds continuously whipped their hanging crates, causing them to shake and hit the walls of the building several times. Even in the video recorded, the image clearly shows the moment the glass of the building broke and flew out. Strong gusts of wind caused two overhead cleaning workers to be hit hard on the glass many times. The two victims were helplessly clinging to the hanging bin, stuck and swinging overhead in the wind. It took rescuers 20 minutes to reach and rescue the two victims. The project leader has been arrested. According to the Department of Emergency Management, the case is working with competent authorities to investigate the cause of the accident and at the same time, conducts investigation of the responsibility of those involved in the incident. Dear audience, a tornado swept through Kaiwen City, Liaoning Province, China, killing at least six people and injuring 190. The AP News Agency quoted local authorities as saying the tornado hit the city of Kainuyan late last night. China's state television channel CCTV later released surveillance footage showing a series of collapsed buildings. Rescuers are searching through the rubble to rescue those trapped, if any. The tornado also blew out the windows of homes and cars in its path. Many plants and equipment in an industrial park were damaged. CCDV said that in addition to 196 casualties, more than 210 people were rescued and 1,600 others had to be evacuated. Nearly 3,600 homes were damaged by the tornado and more than 9,900 residents in Kaiwen City were affected. This city has about half a million inhabitants. As of today, the power grid is restored to affected households, but businesses have to wait another three days. The Global Times reported that tornadoes rarely occur in China. In 2016, a tornado accompanied by hail killed 98 people in eastern China's Jiangsu province. China's National Weather Service said yesterday that climate change could cause more extreme weather events, followed by floods, droughts and extreme temperatures in some areas in the region. This year, the agency recorded record rainfall in some parts of China, while 40 weather observation stations recorded the hottest temperatures ever. The Hebei provincial government has issued a red alert for extremely high temperatures today with temperatures reaching more than 40 degrees Celsius in major cities of the province, including Baoding, Shijiujuan, Hangshui, and Thuang, Xiao, Tsingtai and Handan. Extreme temperatures and drought are expected to affect maize production in the region. Hebei is one of China's largest grain producers. Rainfall in the province has decreased by 23.9% compared to the average in the second quarter of 2019. 
according to the Hebe Daily. A heat wave sweeping through northern China, including the capital Beijing, is expected to last until next week. Thank you for your attention and support. If you find our content value, please like and click the bell icon below to stay updated with the last video from our editorial team. See you in the upcoming news bulletin of channel.